Hey, this is Corey with Cranberry Alarm RA3D. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at um, the algae, interacting with the algae with um, things like compliance stars or compliance wheels from Animark, as well as some offerings from ThriftyBot. And then uh, after that, we'll go into a little bit of our ideas for how to control the algae and score it into the processor. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. So one of the first things we thought about uh, was some easy compliance wheels on both sides of the algae. How does that interact with the algae? Is it easy to pick up? And you can see that um, without a ton of force, wheels on either side are going to grip onto the algae. These are higher durometer Animark compliance wheels. We found that the compliance doesn't actually matter a ton because the ball itself squishes before the compliance comes into effect on the wheels. Um, but this is what we had laying around. And so uh, if you have a mechanism which is going to pick up the ball uh, via rollers on both sides, you're going to want to make sure the compliance has, or the mechanism has some compliance because these rollers are going to change in distance quite a bit across the ball. It's not easy to squish this ball in through like a thinner slot than uh, it's meant to be. So yeah, making sure that um, your mechanism is probably going to have to spring out and maybe spring back in as you collect the algae. But um, one of the first things that we thought about in order to score the algae was just one roller on the front of your robot and you sort of push the algae up against the processor uh, face, are you able to push the algae up and in using a single roller? And the answer is yeah. Um, it's super simple. It can be higher up on the algae and it still gets grip and pushes the algae up and in. It can be lower on the algae, but as long as your rollers end up above this bottom surface of uh, the processor, the algae is gonna tend to tip into the processor rather than out and back onto your robot. We can show this with some driven uh, compliance stars. So this was a few of the different things we immediately tested in order to see how the algae interacts with our common wheels that we have in, uh, in first. So the next thing that you should be thinking about is how to control the game piece on your way over to the processor. And so one of the first things we thought about was a mechanism to sort of pinch onto um, the front side of an algae without fully internalizing it into your robot. Since the algae is pretty large. Um, it's gonna be probably advantageous to grab onto the algae without extending too far out of your frame perimeter and risking getting uh, components damaged by the cages or um, having to fully bring the, the algae piece into your robot, taking up a lot of space in your superstructure. So uh, the first thing we thought about was some four inch, um, four inch wheels. These are the thrifty bot solid urethane wheels. Um, and I don't know the exact distance that these are apart, um, but if you have two rollers and you spin them in on the ball, it holds the ball pretty well. And we found that if you have structure on both sides and you're able to pull the ball in enough for it to touch that structure, it's super stable. And we don't think that a robot driving around would be able to shake it out. So if you really crank down on the wheels 
and you're able to collect the game piece a good amount, compressing it against the sides. It has a pretty good hold on the, the algae and it's not gonna come out just driving around the field. We didn't find a huge difference using some Andy Mark stealth, we stealth wheels on the bottom. We'll go ahead and flip this over really fast and show uh, the demonstration with those ones. So if the ball is placed into the rollers, it's gonna be pretty high torque to hold on to the algae like this, but you don't really need a lot of speed from these wheels, so having a lower gear ratio is fine. And then Meg can go ahead and hit the algae and show that it's not gonna come out of there. Shaking the mechanism doesn't really do much. So yeah, um, ejecting is pretty easy. You just spin these rollers out. Um, and one thing that we haven't shown yet is if you have a mechanism like this on the ground in front of the processor, rolling the bottom wheels sort of pushes the bottom wheels and top wheels up, sort of acts like a conveyor belt and pushes the algae in. So that was a few different ways to interact with the algae, as well as a couple ideas for mechanisms to control the algae and score it into the processor. Um, stay tuned for more videos coming from Cranberry Alarm RI3D on Fun Robotics Network. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.